Five weeks ago, almost to this very second, an F-A-18 Navy jet crashed into the Mayfair Muse apartments. Now, for the first time, residents are returning their homes. The Navy handed the property back over to the owners yesterday. Tell your side's Andy Fox now, live in Virginia Beach with those residents now. Andy? Yeah, it really is amazing that when you think about it, 35 days ago, this is what happened. I mean, there was a jet that crashed in right here five weeks ago today, almost to the minute, 12.07, five weeks ago today. A lot of the units, uh, people have been moving in, 10 to 15 units I've seen so far. People have been coming in and moving back in. If you go straight ahead, though, right there, you can see that there's some construction work going on. Not all the apartments are ready to be moved into, but most of them are, and people are spending today coming back home. Five weeks to the day after their lives changed forever, Mayfair Muse residents, one by one, are moving back in. Five weeks, Paula Moran has lived in a hotel, but thankful in all the grief. You always say, well, you're here one minute, gone the next, but when you're faced with that, it's a whole different story. It makes you think. So, I'm just happy to be alive and come back to Mayfair Muse. Five weeks, so much has changed. 27 of 64 units destroyed. A big open space where buildings once stood. Resident Pat Cavanaugh. There was a complete building right in front of us. Yeah. And now it's gone. No, no more office, no more laundry rooms. All the residents we spoke to amazed how quickly they are back in. But the reality check, some won't come back, don't want to come back. How much does it hurt that you have friends who are not going to be able to come back? It hurts. Uh, I'd like to see them come back, but I can understand why they're reluctant. Uh, it's hard. Now, coming back here live, the jet crashed about right there, and what the Navy did is they came in and they took off the required amount of soil that was contaminated. They hauled it away to a landfill, and then they got the Department of Environmental Quality to pass off to say that everything is environmentally sound. And then that brings us to this day, Don, that uh, the property was handed back over to the owners, and they are now allowing people to move back in. And we'll have more on this story coming home tonight on Wavy News 10 at 5. Don, hey, Andy. Matthew. I'm wondering if you talked to any residents who may have shown some apprehension about coming back after what happened. Maybe they flinch when they hear a jet fly over. Yeah, I mean, jet's been flying over, you know, all day today, and that's kind of like what Pat Cavanaugh was just talking about there. He went out to a movie with a resident who lived here who could have come back but decided not to just because he'd been through too much, and every time, like what you said, every time you hear the jet go over, you think about that. Kind of like after 9-11, you know, after the jets crashed into uh, the World Trade Center and everything. Every time you heard a jet up, you, you look up there in the sky and you'd wonder, you know, what's going on. There was kind of that very uneasy feeling right after the disaster of 9-11, right after this disaster. Thankfully, no one was killed in this one. But it's still very unnerving to people to be out here and to still hear the jets flying over. All right, Andy, we'll be following that story as those who want to come back are going back and glad they are finally back home. Andy Fox in Virginia Beach. Thanks, Andy. We will take a closer look inside the apartments tonight beginning on Wavy News 10 at 5.